if your mind is sick, you shove it down and ignore it and hope that it's going to go away. That doesn't even make sense. Like, what are we doing, guys? sore from head to toe. Um, I just rubbed Bengay on my neck because um, it is so tight and sore. Um, it's all swollen in here and my knees are even hurting which is crazy. I, I mean I have some issues in my knees but um, not so bad that I should be like having this much pain. My stomach is hurting like everything just kind of I just don't feel very good. <laughs> uh, but um, I really wanted to talk to you guys about something that has been on my mind and that has actually been bothering me really bad lately. I don't even know what to call it. It's just like people's reservations about um, mental health, about taking care of their mental health, about getting into a counselor it's like this they some people think it's like this taboo thing like you're only supposed to go to counseling if you are legit crazy and um, people are looking at mental health as if it's like only a few people need mental health I'm sorry but we all have brains and we all go through hard stuff and we at some point or another I believe that everybody needs counseling if you're going to be so hard on yourself to say, no, 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 I'm not going to do counseling or go to counseling unless, um, you know, I'm next to going into the insane asylum, uh, I'm sorry, but you're probably going to be waiting too long. If you're waiting until you're so bad mentally that you're going to end up, you know, hospitalized, then you're waiting too long. You know way before that that you're not okay. Uh, you know, I mean, there are cases of people who are, they're fine one day and never dealt with mental health before and the next day, boom, there it is and they're in a hospital and they don't know what's happening to them. But at the same time, that's a lot more rare than it is a fact of us just neglecting ourselves. So intrusive thought, I'm having this anxiety, getting obsessed about this or that, flashbacks, like there's so many things that people go through and even just like social anxieties, not feeling good enough, feeling guilty about eating too much or too little or comparing yourself to other people all the time. They must have it together and you don't. Um, you're a bad parent feeling like you're going to ruin somebody's life. I mean, just worst case scenario stuff. People deal with these struggles in their mind and it is not unusual. And to think that you literally have to to have some serious mental health issue in order to go see a counselor is so screwed up. I mean, if you're sick, where do you go? Like, if your body is sick, you go to the doctor. You go to your family doctor. If your mind is sick, you shove it down and ignore it and hope that it's going to go away. That doesn't even make sense. Like, what are we doing, guys? Like, we need to take care of ourselves and just because you're going through something mentally, um, like a, a hard time mentally, does not make you crazy. It doesn't mean that you're weak. Like strong people are people who go through stuff and I almost curse. <laughs> people who go through stuff and learn how to work through it, not ignoring it. Ignoring it is not the healthy thing to do. It's not making you strong because you're not being a wimp or whatever. Um, the problem is just going to continue to build and build and build until it's so bad that you can't function. You can't go out there and face the world. You're constantly miserable. You're sad. You don't want to wake up in the morning. Just because you force yourself to go ahead and wake up and go to work doesn't mean you're doing better than the guy who decides to stay in bed. I mean, you might be going to work, but you're probably biting everybody's head off. You're probably not performing like you should because you're exhausted from lack of sleep. Um, because let's face it, the longer you let your mental health go, the less you're able to actually rest. I mean, because then your mind is just going all night long. Like, why are we 
why are we suffering in silence? Why aren't we just taking care of it? Why are we not helping ourselves? Why are we not allowing ourselves to have time to rest and be sad and, and, and go, okay, I'm having a hard time right now. And that is O freaking K because, <sighs> oh, this just gets me so fired up because for so long in my life have I dealt with my mental health problems so long and I was so embarrassed about it and even whenever I first came out to tell people like hey I have some issues uh, with PTSD um, depression anxiety OCD I tried to talk to people about this they're all like really you're no you're you're fine you're that's crazy and then whenever I enrolled and um, like actually started going to counseling oh because why in the world would I want to talk to somebody about having a, a hard time a hard time with my mental health well hello because I need to talk to somebody because that is healthy because that is normal because admitting that you have a problem and trying to talk to somebody about it is like actually doing something about it sitting there and ignoring it is not doing anything about what's going on with you it's ignoring it like And that's another thing, like, why are we being hard on each other? Why are we judging other people? Like, if somebody else feels like they want to go see a counselor so they have somebody to talk to, like, a non-judgmental person to speak to them and let them know that they're okay and that they're not crazy and, hey, what you're going through is this and it's all right. Let's ha well, let's work through it. Let me help you give you tools to work through this. Um, you're still doing all the work nobody's comfortable talking about mental health nobody's comfortable um talking about it and so you know yeah i i did start going to counseling and um i am talking to a counselor about things that i've gone through but here's another thing like sometimes we don't want to share everything that's going on in our lives with um people around us there's a lot of things that i have gone through as an individual that i didn't want to share with my people I didn't want to share it with my people because I didn't want to feel like I was burdening them I did not want to feel like talking to them about these things like I just wasn't ready to be that exposed I didn't want to um, cut open my wounds and say here's all of my faults I just wasn't ready for that um, I tried to ignore my problems too I thought that um, talking about them and admitting them was like uh, like almost like rolling around in them like I thought it was almost like admitting defeat I thought it was like giving up like I was just laying there and saying um, I, I can't fight anymore but it's so opposite of that it's so opposite of everything that we've been taught it's when you finally are able to admit that you have issues um, when you're finally able to admit that uh, you sh are struggling with things it's totally not laying down and taking and, and taking it and giving up. It's saying, I'm accepting me. And it's saying, here's the things that I see that I need to work on. It's like, it's growth. It's, it's the first step in making your little cocoon as a butterfly. And I'm still like working in that cocoon to try to change from a caterpillar to a butterfly. But I believe in this last year that I at least have one wing popped out and that is exciting. Like. I'm feeling so much better, um, but I have really hard days. Like I today, I had a horrible day. My kid has been sick for like today was the 11th day. I haven't felt well, and I'm I'm in a lot of pain this winter. I have arthritis, and my body, um, I ha I don't have like rheumatoid arthritis. It's just like arthritis in certain areas, like from injuries and and things like that. Anyways, um, so since I haven't felt well and since I've been in pain, I have been dealing a little bit more with my mental health. I haven't felt my best because when you're physically not feeling well, it's a lot harder to keep up with the mental stuff. So um, I haven't been feeling all that well. I needed this because today it was just bad. Like, <sighs> anyways, tomorrow I probably... You know, tonight I'm gonna get me a nice warm Epsom salt bath and soak my sore body and 
And um, I'm sure tomorrow I will wake up and it'll be a whole new day. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be in pain tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to be happy or sad, but I do know that I'll make it through it. And that's where my mindset is at now. I mean, it's so much more positive because I'm okay. Like if tomorrow I'm having a hard day and I'm, I, I'm missing people or I'm grouchy or um, I'm, I'm in pain or, or, or I'm happy and, and I'm having a good day and I have lots of energy and I'm on fire and I'm ready, I'm, I'm wanting to get things done on my house or um, no matter what, whether I'm productive or not productive, whether I get all the things done on my to-do list or I decide to rest and chill with my little girl and, and get absorbed in the moment, I'm going to make the best of it, you know, um, and I know that I'm going to make it through it and that literally absolutely every single day I'm growing and changing and evolving and someday um, I'm gonna look back at this and just be like wow that was a hard time but I made it through it and that was the start of something beautiful um, I'm gonna get in and get my me time so I love you guys so it's dark and you can't really see me now but that trip to Walmart made me feel like million times better and I'm ready to go home. I bought some sleepy time tea and some Epsom salts and I'm going to take a night's bath and relax for tonight and I'll feel better by tomorrow. But I just wanted to make this video because I don't want to put um, the vision out there of this perfect mom who always has everything done and um, always has her crap together because guys I don't like I, I struggle with things. I have a hard time and um, but the thing is is that I never let it keep me there and day by day I continue to grow and change just like I said earlier in the video and I don't let it keep me down but it's real and I do have struggles and issues and I'm just a normal human and please help me um, if you guys have mental health issues or if you I don't even want to call them issues like if you guys ever have any you know anything in your mental health that seems like a taboo thing that you're terrified to talk about and and um, you've been scared to go to a counselor in the past knowing that and feeling like that it would help you but um, worried that other people around you would judge you for that I mean comment down below and if you have a YouTube channel like make a video about it it's important for us to share these things um, it's important for us to to um, make them a common place so that we can all talk about it and so that we can all get better and so that we know that there's hope out there and um, that everybody struggles and um, everybody has hard times and nobody's life is perfect and this is important um, we don't we don't need to be spreading the message to other people that we're perfect and hoping that um, because of that perfection that they'll want to be our friend or follow us or um, subscribe to us. Um, we need to be spreading the truth and encouraging people and uplifting one another and um, we, we owe that to each other. We owe that to each other. I, I just... Anyways, guys, I, I, I love you, and thank you so much if you tuned in to this um, long, long message, because I know that the video quality is awful, and that you hear rattling um, in the background, and um, yeah, this is not my normal uplifting, happy-go-lucky video, and so those of you who have stuck to the end, I really appreciate you, and um, thank you, and just know that you guys are not alone, and um yeah, keep on keeping up. Tomorrow's gonna be a better day. Bye. <laughs>